This is the first annual event that we've partnered with with Columbus Police Department on a one-day basketball clinic. Officer Michael um, with the Columbus Police Department, he reached out to me to promote some positivity with um, police interaction with the Linden community to get their faces out because these are officers that patrol the Linden area. And um, the youth see them and understand that you don't have to feel any type of apprehensive or negativity if you run into them. One, I love playing ball. I'm from this community. I went to Gladstone for uh, elementary school and my dad actually lived out here. So spent a lot of time out here. I went to church at 19th in Cleveland. Um, spend a lot of time up on the north side. This is really a good opportunity to always, you know, come back to the community, serve, allow our youth to see the human side of uh, just being a police officer. The vast majority of our officers are here to do what they're supposed to do, and that's protect and serve. A lot of officers are really here for the service part, right? It shows that, you know, we are the community as well. And they're having fun, and they're, they're, they're being part of the community, and they're letting our youth see you know, it's not all enforcement. There's a lot of service that goes into uh, being a Columbus police officer. I took over the passing station with uh, bounce passes, chest passes. So that's how we get our games together is that we practice and we get better and we get better. Our players, to have them here in a position of leadership, giving back to the community. Chris is heading to Virginia State University on a full scholarship. He was able to say that to the kids to have the kids be able to see Philip, which is a phenomenal basketball player, but also a phenomenal student in the classroom and will be heading to college after this year. To have him come back and give back some words and them be able to see their Linden community leaders. I think it's a, it's a great opportunity to be here for them and like to be here as their mentor because I have 15 siblings, younger siblings at home with me and I just treat them like my own little siblings and it's fun working with them knowing that I can give what I learned back to them so when they grow up they wouldn't have to have the same struggles. That little orange ball um, can take you places and open up doors. 2021-2022 school year that was over $300,000 in scholarship between seven seniors, some for basketball and some not for basketball. I started playing ball at like five years old. I went to St. Charles, played ball there, got some opportunities for, uh, you know, the next level to, to do college. Ended up taking an academic at The Ohio State University, put in the work, do the things you need to do, um, uh, practice your rebounding, practice your shooting, and then when you think you're done and tired, do some more. Make sure you're, you're taking care of your academics because a lot of times, as for, it was for me, the academics is what will take you to those next levels and get you where you need to go.